What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of YouTube. It is October the 13th and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I actually recorded a pretty good video yesterday, well in my opinion anyways, uh, but it was out doing what I love rather than being at the charts here and kind of going into detail of that a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, most of the video was recorded with my GoPro, which had a waterproof case on it because I was out kite surfing. And the sound quality was just so horrible. I did upload a video last night, but the sound quality just wasn't what I wanted. You could barely hear me and all that sort of stuff. So I did remove the video and luckily I did have a bit of a backup video on my phone. So I'm going to see if I can get that on here. Um, just, yeah, basically going into what got me into this, guys, is uh, there's more to life than working, and I work to live, not live to work. And one of my favorite hobbies, as I've mentioned in several videos, is kite surfing. So I got a little bit of footage of it, nothing too crazy, but uh, yeah, I was in two beautiful trades yesterday. Uh, one was at about 170% on Ethereum, which was only a one-day trade, and a Bitcoin trade I was in for, I think it was four or five days, and it was at around 240%, so absolutely crazy absolutely great and the point is that that was done while doing my favorite activity in life and that's kind of what i'm going for that's why i'm trading so hopefully you guys find this uh good hopefully you find it interesting give me a thumbs up subscribe if you hadn't and let me know what you think of the video Mo obviously my channel is for the most part going to be technical analysis but from time to time i'm just going to show you what i'm up to in real life and after I uh, upload that, I will also go into a little bit of technical analysis in this video. Nothing crazy, just kind of what I'm looking at short term here. So again, if you guys think that sounds interesting, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And with that, let's get it. Hey guys, this video is going to be a lot different. I'm actually not going into technical analysis with you guys today, but uh, I just wanted to show you one of the reasons I got into technical analysis and into trading. Uh, because I am like, I assume most of you, I have a full-time regular job. I'm not a professional trader yet by any means, but the opportunity is there and we live and we grow and we learn. So, one of the main reasons I wanted to get into it is because of this little sport right here. I know I've mentioned going kite surfing in previous videos, and this is kind of what I live for, guys. The two things that I've really been living for recently have been kite surfing and trading. And the reason I trade is because someday I want to be able to do this anytime I want without having to worry about going to work. I want to be able to travel the world, do it, that kind of thing. So, it's a pretty wild sport, it's probably going to get loud, sorry about that, but uh, yeah, you can see here the boys are out trend. We're going to make it happen, we're going to get some adrenaline going, get some butterflies, see if I can scare the shit out of myself once again, and with that hopefully I get some footage on the GoPro, if not I will next time, I don't know when you guys will see this video, I might not post it for quite a while, so. Anyways, that's just a little insight of why I got into the trading game and what I hope to do for uh, the rest of my life. And uh, with that, I'm out. Peace. Alright guys, hopefully I can get some good shots. It's feeling like a decent breeze there. We'll get the tunes playing and we're gonna have a blast. Feeling good and more importantly, feeling safe. Later fellas.
Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little clip. I know I did. Um, now I want to show you the importance of this video. As I was saying, I want to be able to make money while I do things I love, like kite surfing, for example, my favorite activity in the world. And you can see here I tweeted about it, out, living, or out loving life, kiteboarding, while my trailing stop loss on my Bitcoin and Ethereum positions are playing out beautifully. This is what I mean by when I had a good day when I was out kiting. This 241% trade I set on Thursday, so four or five days ago, whatever, I am out of that position as well as the bottom one. This was an Ethereum trade. I took that earlier that day. That is about five hours of profit. You show me a bank that gives you that in a lifetime and I'll be impressed. Um, of course, I'm not going all in on these trades, guys, and these are obviously high leverage, high risk. Um, that's why risk management is so important. Um, I want to be able to be wrong a hundred times with my account, not just screw up one or two trades and basically be shit out of luck, guys. So make sure you are practicing uh, safe trading, I guess, for lack of a better word. Uh, anyways, with that, let's hop over to my little bit of just a little refresher of technical analysis and kind of what I was keeping my uh, well, my few Twitter followers uh, up to date with. And uh, speaking of that, uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I don't always have time to make these videos and it's very quick to just post what I'm seeing in the markets. I even have been trading my or showing my trade setups today, that sort of stuff. So give me a follow guys. And with that, let's hop back over to my chart. All right, guys, just going to start by looking at my Ethereum trade. And when I said that it only took about five hours to hit that ridiculous profit, uh, this was a 25x trade. And you can see here that my entry was damn near perfect. Uh, we had this bit of a dump, had a bit of a fake out out of this. Uh, I was actually looking at a bit of a triangle, something like that. Uh, we dropped down, but to me, it just looked like a fake out. Uh, we weren't really getting the follow through that I thought we would. And then we started actually... Even though this is a very small range, we started uh, consolidating on top of this little bit of resistance here, uh, getting somewhat of a support flip. But uh, on top of that, if I pull up my momentum indicator here, uh, right where I was expecting it to be a bit of a fake out and thinking that it was going to bounce, I also got a bullish pivot on my direction uh, momentum indicator, whatever the hell it's called. Um, just a few things that were lining up. Plus, you guys know I've been extremely bullish on this market for quite a while now, so I am definitely leaning towards a bullish bias while I'm trading. So I'm quicker to pull the trigger on longs than I am shorts right now. Um, that Ethereum trade I was in yesterday during that video, um, you saw it was at 170%. Um, it ended up getting stopped out something around 130 or something. You can see that uh, when we broke back down uh, below. Basically, we got this uh, little bit of a breakout up here just as I was finishing my session. And when I took that picture of 170, we were probably right up there. Uh, but as we broke down back below this little bit of structure, I just figured, you know what, I'm just going to lock in my profits. I'm not going to get greedy because it was still about 125, 130% trade. So can't complain with that. As you can see here, I'm in a new long position here. Uh, and my main reason for taking that is again, because I am bullish. Uh, another thing is both Bitcoin and Ethereum have this potential wedge taking shape, falling wedge. You guys know I fucking love wedges. Uh, but then on top of that, you guys know that I also love the 0.618 retrace. Uh, let me just get this out of the way here. Um, and yeah, basically you can see that the 0.618 of this uh, little bit of a sell-off with this wedge uh, kind of bounced off there. We've been finding support around that level of interest to me and uh, to me that's a bullish sign so I did enter another 25x long here at this blue line and right now it doesn't quite have the follow-through that I was hoping for I was thinking we'd see a more aggressive push to the upside so I have updated my stop loss to be just above break even just cover my uh, my fees and that sort of stuff guys um, so yeah that's what I'm looking at on Ethereum, that's the trade I'm currently in and the trade that I had yesterday while I was out having the time of my life. So yeah, life is good. 
Uh, now we'll hop over to the Bitcoin chart. All right, guys, here you can see we basically have the same thing on Bitcoin. We have a falling wedge. Um, I am in a long position here. I apparently forgot to draw a line where I entered, but uh, my stop loss is just below uh, this little cluster here, just below 11.3K. I think it's around 11,289 is my stop loss currently. Um, and yeah, again, it just doesn't quite have the follow through that I was hoping for. If we do drop back down, I'm hoping we find some support, get that support flip along this wedge. Even if we bounce along it for a while, I think it's only a matter of time until we shoot back up with how bullish the market potentially is right now. And uh, now I just want to show you uh, again my Twitter, you guys, and why it's a good idea to follow my Twitter. I'll just show you a couple of my posts here. Uh, earlier today I said watching Bitcoin to see how this falling wedge coils up. Ideally would like a third touch point along resistance before breakout, uh, blah, blah, blah. And here's about where the pattern was at that point, guys. Okay, so clearly we had a ways to go. Here Bitcoin wedge just had third touch point along resistance. This was a couple hours later, guys. Now to see if we break out for another long entry. There you can see we got our third touch point and you guys know in my videos that I love getting a third touch point before a breakout so that checks all my boxes there. Here you can see <laughs> this is just a little bit of a joke but should we put our space suits back on fellas added to my Bitcoin position and stop loss adjusted yeah 11,289 just in case it's a fake out and you can see here we're starting to get a little bit of consolidation right above that so I was feeling pretty confident in my trade. Again, we're not quite getting the follow through that I was hoping for, so I'm just going to leave my stop on that one for now. And uh, we're going to see if the bulls can step back into gear here. Um, so, yeah, you guys, that's about all I have to bring to your attention today. I know this is just a little bit of a different video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. There's more to life than just reading charts and just going to work and that sort of stuff. So I just really wanted to show you kind of what I'm doing with life and what I love to live for. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And again, give me that thumbs up and subscribe if you hadn't. Let me know what you think about the video. Give me some pointers or uh, just uh, any recommendations, what you would like to see in the future, things like that. So with that, guys, I'm out. Stay safe out there, my friends. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>